Cross Puzzles Part 1 In this video, we will learn how to solve third order cross puzzles. Hey students, come, let's see what Appy and Fruity are doing today. Fruity asks Appy, Hey Appy, what are you thinking about? He says, Fruity, I am thinking about how to solve the puzzle given by Appu. Fruity asks, which puzzle did Appu give you? Appy says, this is a third order cross. Can you fill its cells such that its vertical sum and the horizontal sum is 27? Hey students, do you want to help Appy in solving this puzzle? Of course, right? So you can pause the video and try to solve the puzzle. Like you, Fruity is also trying to solve the puzzle. After some time, Fruity says, This is a third order cross. Its vertical and horizontal sum is 27. So we can find its central cell by dividing 27 by 3. Hence, the central number is 9. Happy? Now let me tell you that the calendar arrangement of numbers shows the way of designing and solving some cross puzzles. In a calendar, the column increases by number 7 and the row increases by number 1. So, we can solve this puzzle by subtracting 7 and 1 from 9 and adding 7 and 1 to 9. By subtracting 7 from 9 and by adding 7 to 9, we can fill the vertical cells like this. In the same way, by subtracting 1 from 9 and by adding 1 to 9, we can fill the horizontal cells like this. Now you can see the vertical sum and the horizontal sum is 27. Here, for adding and subtracting, I have used 7 and 1. That's why this is a calendar type solution. Let me tell you that once we find the central number, then we can use any convenient number to solve the third order puzzle. Let us take numbers 4 and 3. Now, by subtracting 4 from 9 and adding 4 to 9, we can fill the vertical cells like this. In the same way, by subtracting 3 from 9 and adding 3 to 9, we can fill the horizontal cells like this. Now, we can check the vertical and the horizontal sum. See, it is 27. Appy says, yes, you are right. And Fruity, see, when we use 1 and 2 for doing addition, and subtraction we get a nice arrangement of five consecutive numbers that means we can use five consecutive numbers to solve a third order cross puzzle similarly we can also use an additive sequence to solve a third order cross puzzle See, I have done it. And here, the vertical and horizontal sums are 27 respectively. Fruity says, Correct! And Appy, 
Now you can go and tell these answers to Appu. The students, now you can also ask your friends to solve such third order cross puzzles and amaze them. Thank you for watching this video. See you later.